Dears be trusted. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to a very different edition of DSP Tries It. We're not testing any kind of food. We're not testing any kind of drink. We're testing a service, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new service that just started. I actually got word about it a week or two ago on Amazon because we are members of Amazon Prime. Now, if you're not aware of what that is, that's a subscription-based service through Amazon.com by which you get many things. First of all, you get free two-day shipping on anything you order from Amazon.com. Number two, you get tons of on-demand video services, including many, many things for free. I've been tweeting about this for the past several months, how Leanne and I have watched entire television series like American Horror Story, as well as tons of movies for free because we are subscription members of Amazon Prime. For rough reference, I believe it's between $20 and $30 a month. I can't remember it's exactly. It's $99 a year. Oh, $99 a year. So it's less than $20 a month then. Okay. Um, well, I got this message saying, would you like to try out this new service? It's called Prime Pantry from Amazon, only for Amazon Prime members. So kind of like, think this way. How you go to one of those discount clubs like Sam's or Costco? That's basically what this is. You have to be a member, but then you get access to this service. What this is, is access to, as you can see, Breakfast and snacks, cooking, beverages, household supplies, personal care, pet care. You might say, that doesn't sound like the kind of stuff you would normally buy off Amazon. And the answer is it's not. It's actually a new line of products that they're carrying, basically things for the house. Cleaning products, you know, food, all kinds of stuff that you would normally go to, say, a grocery store or a pharmacy to buy. They're carrying them now, but not only do they have them, it's an incredibly discounted price. And you might say, well, wait a minute, look, this, this box... This is heavy. I'm sure it costs a ton of money to ship that to your house. You know, why would I order my groceries online from Amazon when you can easily get them at the store? Because the shipping for this entire box, this ginormous box, was a flat $5.99. So if they have things that you have around your house, okay, and you can get them for much cheaper on Amazon with only $5.99 shipping, it could be an immense discount. So I did, I, I ordered a variety of products for the house, which we're gonna look at right now. I'm gonna tell you the actual prices I paid for those products, okay? And then I'm gonna <clears throat> basically investigate how did they pack it, and then we're gonna give it a, the service a review. Now it does need to be said, I ordered these around Monday, and it arrived Thursday at 8.40 at night, 8.40 p.m. So I don't know what, what this shipment method is, that's a flat 5.99, it's a slow shipment method, four days, and it came in like in the middle of the night, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and open this sucker and let's see what's in it. It's interesting here because it says open up smaller boxes inside, so it's like boxes within boxes here. Mm. That's not gonna work. Thing. That's packing tape with the actual, you know, Stuff in it to prevent you from ripping it. <clears throat> so, of course, now this is gonna be like this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, what do we have in here? Wow, look how they packed it. They packed this really nicely. Mm -hmm. Look how much. First of all, you guys know me, especially with, with this kind of stuff that I usually use on DSP Tries It. I need a lot of this. <laughs> Cottonelle Ultra Comfort Care Mega Rolls, nine pack Mega Rolls, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is a lot of to toilet paper and you might say, how much did the nine pack Mega Roll cost? If you go to the grocery store and you get that, remember 24, you might say, oh, that's probably like 15 bucks, right? Guess how much we paid? $9.34 a pack. So basically a dollar a roll, maybe a dollar and a couple cents a roll. That's not bad. And we got two. So I ended up getting two of those. One thing that we've been looking for like crazy around here, okay, is this. This is a shower cleaner refill for a scrubbing bubble automatic shower cleaner, which we have in our shower. What it is is a device that you press a button, and when you're done showering, it sprays this cleaner all over your shower so you don't have to clean it yourself. With a nice fresh scent. Yeah. And I've been looking for these all over. We couldn't find them. We looked at them. They don't have them at our local grocery store. They don't have them at our local Target. No one had it. So I'm like, how am I supposed to keep using the shower cleaner when no one has them? So we went online. We ordered some. Normally in store, this would be about $6. How much was it? On Amazon Pantry, $3.50 each. 
That's a savings of $2.50 each, almost half price what you would pay in the store. As you'll see, we didn't just order uh, one, we ordered a few of them in here. Ta-da! Since they were so cheap, I ordered five of those things, okay? In addition, look at this, we're moving all this nice packing paper. We got a pack of Lipton Brisk Half and Half Lemonade Tea. They don't have that in the stores around here, okay? Guess how much we pay? $5.99. $3.99. Oh, $3.99. Never mind. $3.99. I think they did the math. They said it was $0.33 cents a can. Woo! $0.33 cents a can for that. And then last, I'm going to open this separately because it looks like they actually packaged it in its own box, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Our laundry detergent that normally we would get at the grocery store. Okay, this is the cold water clean. Mm -hmm. So this is for, you know, not things that need to necessarily be wa for washed in the colors. hot water. So yeah, right, colors, because you, you do colors. Colors with, and more delicate. Right. So this is 24 loads worth, you know, 1.36 liters, as they like to say. Guess how much this was? Tell them, because I don't remember. $11.97. Now, I don't know. This is probably the one thing out of everything in this box, I don't know if this is a deal. I don't. Because I don't pay attention to the price when we're buying this. It's a smaller you know, container than the big one we buy. The so. ginormous one. But I don't know what the cost of the ginormous yeah. one is. But for just, I just wanted to show you the variety of products that you can get from Amazon Pantry. Now, here's the thing. Honest, honest uh, response here. Some things I wanted they didn't have. For example, I use a certain kind of toothpaste because I have a tooth that's a little sensitive. So we have this sensitive toothpaste, Sensodyne, that I use, okay? Didn't have that. They had, like, regular toothpaste, so I couldn't get that. And there were a few things that I wanted, like drinks that I was looking for, they didn't have. So they do have limited selections, okay? But for the most part, if you're looking for general cleaning products, drinks, they do have certain kinds of chips and snacks you could have ordered from them. It's all available. Now look at how they pack this. It's actually, they're right. It's a box within a box. Look, and they had that nice packing paper. This is packed really nicely. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that they just only charged $6 for this level of packing. Mm -hmm. Especially considering how heavy it was. <clears throat> right. The box was very heavy. It was like probably over 10 pounds, right? With this, look, two of these heavy things in there. All this is liquid, heavy liquid, right? I'll hold this thing that's probably incredibly heavy. Oh my God, that's really heavy. So that's a good service. The only real complaint that I have about the service is uh, it does take over, you know, it takes around four days for stuff to get delivered and the fact that they delivered it in the middle of the night. So they're basically using it whatever the cheapest, UPS. it was UPS. Mm -hmm. They're basically using the, the El Cheapo shipping method. What's the slowest possible method, you know, to get it to you that's safe? The slowest UPS. So they delivered at 840 at night, which they're not even supposed to do. They're supposed to deliver everything before 8 o'clock. But I digress. Look at this. Really well done with their packing. And the thing is, we have, look at all the stuff. We can now use this for all, our own stuff, for packing mm -hmm. our own stuff. Uh, coming up, your soap orders that we're going to be shipping this out and stuff like that. This is the same kind that. of paper I use, but I still got tons of that. And we got, look, these boxes are good for storage. You know, these are durable boxes. So pretty good, I would have to say. You know, or overall, of a service for $6 to get that level of packing, you might be nervous to say, oh, they're going to ship all these liquids. No, it showed up nicely. And I'm impressed. And the prices, I mean, like I said, this is almost half price what it is in the store. This whole box, everything you saw in this box cost like 66 bucks. Mm -hmm. Which, if you were to go to a store, just to, just to do the math, right? So just all of these would have been 36. This probably would have been around 6 to 7 bucks. So you're talking about 45. These probably are more than $10 a pop in the probably store. In the so 60, paper. 70. The toilet paper, this is probably like 15 bucks in the store for 9 mega rolls. So you're talking over $100 a product, and we probably saved around $40. So for a $6 shipping, that's a great deal. I really like this service, and what I think we're going to do is when we find things that we can't get, for example, stuff like this, or if we go to the store, what we'll do now, we'll actually go this weekend and we'll check and we'll see what is the cost of this, you know, mm -hmm. in the store, and what are the most pricey things for the household that we're buying, maybe we could get them through this service for a flat rate, that's awesome. And this is, I do want to say this, this is a default crate, the way it works is as you're adding items to the crate, the website will say, oh, uh, this Lipton Brisk filled up 25% of your crate. This filled up 5%, but since you ordered six of them, that was 30% of your crate. So as you add things, it actually tells you what percent of your pantry crate has been filled up as you do it. And it was funny because there was one thing I did want to get. It was a pack of tea because we actually have our Keurig 
you know, brewer over there, and we were running out of uh, English breakfast tea, and I wanted to get it, and they said, no, that was going to put your crate over by 5%, so they would have had to send you a separate crate for another $6, and I said, no, I'm not going to order a whole separate crate for another $6, I'll just wait, so, pretty neat, I like this service, I'm going to actually, in regards to the amount of money we saved, about 40 bucks from what we would have paid in the store for only $6 shipping, and everything showed up pretty decently. The only negative, again, like I said, is that it does take a little bit longer to show up. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. It's a great service. Mm -hmm. And I think that in the future, as I said, as we even look up things in the store, the value of this may even be even better. You know, it may actually be even more savings than we thought, because I don't even know what the real value of that Tide right there is, so. A very different DSP tries it. If you are already an Amazon Prime subscriber, I, I strongly recommend taking advantage of this new Prime Pantry if it's available in your area. It saved us a ton of money. In addition, of course, you're getting all that other stuff from Amazon Prime anyway, so it's gonna, in the long run, it kinda makes the, the difference, especially if you're gonna order, just imagine this. The Prime service is, like we said, less than 20 bucks a month. On the first order, we saved 40 bucks. It's paying for itself. Right, not only did it pay for itself, we saved more money on top of it, so. All right, that is it for DSP Tries It. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time.